Hey mamas, how are you? So I want to share, um, we received our subscription box for KiwiCo and I wanted to share with you what we got. Um, so if you have been following me, you know I created a educational list of different uh, subscription boxes that you can do if you have a baby or a toddler under two. So during that uh, research, um, I had two of the subscription boxes that I suggested before and I was looking to do a new one, a chicken. So bear with me because he's not napping. So I got the KiwiCo Panda Crate. Um, this is the Discovery With Me box and it is aimed for 18 to 24 months so he is 20 months so he's right on point and this discovery box is um help your little one understand cause and effect through play so each of their boxes takes one objective and works through it and with the different activities that they're inside so kiwico is aimed for the creative kid the scientist and even uh, though he's still little, I like I like the um, idea of you know experimenting and creating. The last thing I need is more toys in my room, uh, but I do like things he can manipulate, he can use, uh, he can play with, and then that we can expand our activities throughout the week. So, little note aside, every Sunday. Yeah, every Sunday I have a little cart with um, labeled Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I do try to plan uh, some activities throughout the week where we can implement some of our, you know, fun skills and some of our workbook skills from the What to Teach a One-Year-Old Workbook, um, which has <laughs> all white. It has all of this. This one, you know, you have to assemble uh, or you can buy it already assembled. But let's get into the box. Let me see if I can put him down so I can show you everything that we got. Or maybe we can do it together. So there are four or five activities that you get. So this is the, high, the overview of everything that, you know, you're going to receive. And everything is super high quality, which I loved. And it kind of has a theme. So the, even though there's five different activities, yeah, you, they kind of play with each other. And you can be, uh, if you have um, creative things, there's a lot you can do with it. There's a magazine, the Wonder Magazine. And this one tells you a little bit of the milestones. Don't touch because then we can't talk to people. A little bit of the milestones that you know, they're working on through this um, through this box. Uh, why you know repetition is good. Why do you wanna you know? Why are they throwing their cup over and over and over at meal time on hearing it fall and being like, oh wait, if I drop that, that makes a sound. Well, let me try that again because you know what if I drop it and it doesn't make the sound. Uh, or what if I turn on the um, light? Will it, you know, make the room bright or will it make it dark? Oh, wait, it turned it bright. But what if I do it again? So it's that repetition and that repetition is what connects in their brain um, that association and they're going to do it over and over and over and over again until that concept is grasped. So next time your little one is throwing things and is waiting for that sound, just know why they're doing it. Um, so there are cards of everything that's included and then behind it, there are instructions on how to assemble it. And I was like, Ooh, assembly required. Like I don't go to Ikea that much because I don't do assembly. Uh, but this was pretty simple. This was very, um, self done. So let's start with this one. So this is a little animal rocker and there's two of them and the idea I had, oh, this is the first. So you make a little rocker and it comes, the pieces come separate and let's see if I can 
you know, like this. See? So what happens is um, it comes pre-assembled. I, I started doing it. So the first thing is you put this piece on that felt that has a sticky and the other one you pass it through and stick it here. So I left the very last step undone so you could see how easily because um, so you just put it through here and once don't make the mistake of peeling it first um, because I did that and then it was really hard to pass it through. But once it clicks, then you want to just um, take the protective plastic and the paper out and then you just want to um, stick it. And it, that's it. Oh, I put it wrong. Look, it's supposed to be facing out. Okay, let's fix that. That's what happens when you're not paying attention and you don't have that much sleep. But it's okay. So let's put it the right way. So both animals are actually looking out. So once it clicks, um, there you go. I mean, it doesn't look pretty now because I have to fix it. But look, you got a little rocker. Whee! So, where is it? So, with the card, uh, where is what I saw? Come on, you So, these are not what I'm looking for. Okay, well, let's keep going. Um, what else is in the book? So let's keep going. We have the rocker. So if we're working on cause and effect. You know, if I push it, what's going to happen? Huh? What do you think? Yeah. Um, then we have the animal matchup cards. And I think these are a, a little bit challenging for him. We never worked. Ah! with anything like that but uh, i love the material sure everything is you're gonna show them so let's see what we have so they're very thick yeah so then you have um you know a little bird and a big bird and then they're supposed to match them up. I really try. Yeah. So what I like, you know, there's a cat and a kitten. Um, so you can start by matching the colors. I draw again. There's a dog. What is this, Manu? What is this? A dog. A dog. And what is the sound of the dog? A dog. A dog. Como hace el perro. And then we have a rabbit. Come on, said rabbit. Yeah, it jumps. So you can match them. And what is cool? Give me the card. Let's show them the card. So in the back. In the back, there are three ways. Stop. There are three ways to play. In the back, there are three ways to play. So what it's called is in the back. There's three ways to play. You have, um, you know, you lay the cards facing up, and you can separate them <clears throat> by big and small. You can mix the cards. You can mix the cards and you can um, flip them to see which goes with who. And then there's a little bit of one more challenge where you flip all of them down and then you uncover them and then you can keep it if it matches, um, which I think it's a little too advanced for him, but it's until 24 months. So maybe in four months, he'll be able I to do that. I don't know. 
Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay. So those are the cards. And I love that. So you basically have one toy. A dog and the dog. And the dog. And you have three activities, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And the dog made <laughs> So you can work on animal sounds. Then, so we have a hide and seek mat. So I love this one. Yeah. I love this one because um, if you heard about busy books, and if you try to buy them, one, they are super expensive. And two, they are for older kids. Like it teaches them, you know, how to brush their teeth. And then you take the clothes out of the laundry and you hang them up. And for their age, they can't do that. Um, so what I ended up doing is I created my own busy big for his level. And we've been using that in the car. And this is basically the same concept. You want to... You like those toys, huh? Why don't you play with them here so I can talk? I do Yeah. So, basically, this is the same concept where you just... They're starting to do pretend play. They're not fully into pretend play yet. So, you just kind of have to show them. And their pretend play is just... Um, this one, the boat. It looks like a boat. So the pretend play is, is very realistic to their life. So the first thing you're going to see them when they do pretend play is they're going to pretend to eat because that's what they do. Or they're going to pretend to be on the phone because that's what they see. Um, so this little mat, it's a pretend play scenario. And it comes with three different felt pieces felt animals and what you can do is you can um if you're crafty and you buy felt um, you can make your own animals and you can expand the use and the creativity of this so it comes pre-assembled but i kind of played with it last night um so you know this is a learning skill trying to put it out Oh, you can. Um, and if you say peekaboo, you know, there's a little bunny. Oh, you want to see? He hasn't seen this because I opened the box last night. Peekaboo. What is this? A dog. And how? what is the noise of the dog? Tomás el perro. Look, he's trying to put it in the pocket. Um, um, and, you know, Velcro. Velcro is a skill they're going to be working on. It's a life skill because then they're going to be able to put on their jackets or their shoes. Um, same thing with buttons, you know. You can see him through the window. So it's very good. Well made. Let's see who's let's see who's here. <gasps> Peekaboo! Peekaboo! <gasps> who's here? A mouse. And they stand up. If these little dogs, you can pretend, you know, they stand up, which I think it's really cool. I never seen anything like it. Um, and then you can hide them different places. So if you ever participate, like our local library has a game where they sing a song and they say, let's say, let's do it with the mouse because they do it with the mouse. So they say, little mouse, little mouse, are you in, they use as houses. So let's, you know, little mouse, little mouse, are you in the green bush? Yes. So, you know, our library has, three different color houses and they sing that song and they open each of the houses till they find the mouse. So you can do something like that. Like, you know, little mouse, little mouse, are you in the yellow house or red house? Uh, so this one's pretty cool. Uh, this is, a, a, you know, you can take it to go. It just flops really easily. And I think the, the, the little dog is just super cute. 
um, they can play with it, these little buttons. So this is something you can take to go. It would be good for the car. It's good for um, it's good for the car. It's good for uh, restaurants, and that is fun. So that's number two. So we did the hide and seek. We did the matchup cards. We did the animal rocker, and let's do. Um, the puzzle the, so there's animal puzzle and that one actually comes also with the peekaboo game and there's a little bag that comes with it so you don't lose any of the pieces um, so you know you can start you know one two three four <laughs> right so that's one game and then if you flip it, it's a puzzle, um, which I'm matches, matches this. Like this puzzle is these little pieces right here. Oh, let's see, how do, how do you match? Like this. A dog. Wow. A dog. A dog. So maybe like this. Where's it go? Oh, maybe this one goes with this. Oh, you see, can't. I can't even do it. I can do it. Oh, I can't. Okay, well, let's use the guide. It might be easier yeah. to use the guide. So yeah. first is this. The log is on this side. Then we have this. We have this. So like this. Ta-da! See, if you use a guide, it's a lot easier. So there's, you know, starting to count. And then, look at this, look at this. Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. I see you. Peekaboo, I see you. Peekaboo. So. So we have three games with just two um, pieces. That. And then look how cool this is. So you can put, you know, one, two, three. Good job. And look at this. Look, 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 look. Pop! Oh, see, it's cause and effect. If I push it, will it jump out? Only push one, like this. You want to try it? Push it. What? So, lots of entertainment. Whoa! And then, I was surprised the next two things that came up. So, why don't you play with this? I know. Yeah, play with that. So you can see a lot of independent play already, which I like things that are, you know, you can help you with the independence so you don't always have to be entertaining them. Um, so, you know, you saw him playing with a boat. I call them boats, but they're not boats. They're animal rockers. Um, that's an independent play. I'm sure this in the car is a total independent play. Um, and then there's a, a book that comes, you know, where is Poppy? And it's, a peekaboo game so you know he counts where is he where is he and he finds different you know animals i would love if and then maybe i'll do it i'll try to you know, maybe print it and laminate it because that's how i diy my thing but he he finds different animals as he's looking for his friend so he finds a bee and he finds a bird and he finds a squirrel and he finds a duck and then he finds him and I would love and I'm totally doing this create these animals so we can play here 
So you read the story and then you can recreate it with your scenery because you can totally say, you know, and then you can even make, oh, you can make puppy. You can make him. So that you can, you know, just like the song that I was telling you about, you know, the mouse, little mouse, little mouse, where, you know, are you hiding in the yellow house? You can totally play it using this, hide them in different places, find, you know, hide the little animals uh, from the book until you find Poppy. So I'm totally be going, I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to be creating um, some little animals. And I'm gonna print them and laminate them. And a cheap way to laminate something so small would be to just put tape. You put, you know, the big mask, the big tape, the packing tape, one side and the other side, and then you just trim it, and then that's your lamination. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that because I think I can really partner this book with this. So it's like kind of the same concept. Um, that will be good. Uh, and I love that everything comes together like you know this is the mouse and this is the dog that you know we saw in here so there's a lot of creative things that you can do to expand the use of the box and I will be doing some of that myself because um, like I said I create an activity theme for the week and then I try to break it out throughout the day what I like about this is that I can actually just take one material, like maybe just the cards, and use them the whole week. And I can use each of the materials <clears throat> for the week, and it'll give me the whole month of activities to do. Each little one has three, most of them has three different activities that you can do. So you have one week with just one material, at least three activities that they're telling you how to play and then you can repeat if they like it or just change it up if you see that they're not ready for that challenge yet so for me in my opinion this was totally worth it and i love that right now they're having a sale um so i'm gonna leave you the link so you can look and see what crate is the best oh i forgot look at this two things so with the book there's a qr code that you can scan it and you just scan it with your like if you're gonna on it with an iphone if you're gonna take a picture and it opens up um an app well not an app it opens up safari and then with that it kind of expands um Let's do it. It expands uh, the use of the crate, so it gives you like more stuff to do with it. Um, so let's, let me see if I flip back. Let me just do it. And it says open cube go in Safari, yes. So it gives you more stuff. So this is, this is kind of like a walkthrough, you know, their walkthrough of what they um their walk to oh their walk through of the box blah 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 but then there is a song that you can use um it's called three little pandas So it's basically the monkey the monkey song but you know in case if you didn't know that song it would it's nice that somebody can sing it and you can see it and then you can play with it i would have loved if they would have given me a felt panda or three of them so that i can play along so i'll probably be doing that you know making my own little panda and printing it three times so that i can sing that song because at this age they need to grab onto things they need to hold on to things and uh and you know like i said you know from the one year old workbook that i work with um let me see if i have it here we do uh one of the sheets that are there 
one of the sheets that you build is the Five Little Monkeys song. So I do use, you know, the real monkeys because they like to grab it, they like to hold on it. Um, so I think it's it's it would be it would be better if they would have just sending you you know the three little pandas. But because we are creative mamas, we are totally going to be doing this ourselves so that we can expand the use of this um, product. And I will be creating them and I will leave a link somehow on the blog. Um, so that you guys can take advantage of what I use when you do get the discovery box that you guys can get to do it and use it and expand the use of, of uh, your crate. So this was really awesome. I am very impressed. Um, everything that I read about KiwiCo, it was geared more towards the older crowd, the older kids. I didn't know they had a, you know, a box for the little ones, which they do. And I love it. And they also come with four cards for you to do activities outside of the box. So this one is telling you, let your kid play with the light switch on and off. Uh, I mean, they love it, but it gets kind of annoying after a while. Um, but we do that. Again, all of cause and effect. If I turn on the light, what would happen? Um, transportation. If you, you know, roll the car, will it slide out? Um, and it tells you how to do it, how to experiment. This one talks about um, doing a bowl, you know, bowling with, um, and then counting how many bottles uh, fall. And I, you know, where I now, for here, we're in Christmas season. So I totally see myself like, you know, maybe doing little, Santa Claus belts or some some type of holiday related so that I can tie it to the season uh, for this activity and then you can do this is about um, experimenting cause and effect like will it sink or will it drown I mean not drown but sink or float um, so basically you can totally create so many acti like if you, you one toy a week with one of these activities um, already gives you four different things that you can do through the week and then Friday is a day, you know, free play. So there's so much to do. Uh, you'll be able to entertain your little one and they tell you exactly how, what to play, what to do. Um, so if I were to create a box, like if I would have been, um, you know, had the capability of creating toys for learning um, to do something like that, I would totally do a box like this. Like this is right up my alley. This is very educational. It's toys that have a purpose. Um, and I think it, it's a great box. I am very happy with my purchase. I can't wait till next month. And if you're interested, let me know. I'm more than happy to walk through, probably you know, not as long, um, through my next box next month because I think it's totally worth it. I know they have one um, from two to four, four to six, like it goes all the way uh, to their teens. So great box. Again, this is the Panda Crate from KiwiCo. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Um, it's the Discover, the Discover box. No, yeah, Discover with Me box. So totally recommended, totally. Uh, worth every penny that I put into it and this is actually part of um, this is part of my I'm giving him three Christmas gifts and this is one of them a subscription box throughout the year so the, the gift that keeps on giving because every month you'll get them yeah. yes we're gonna go have breakfast now um, so see you later alligator and I hope you like it let me know if you have any questions if you need me to show you something else again but thanks for watching bye bye